After everything Amanda's done, you don't owe her anything. I'm not saying I do, Dan. It's just she looks so shattered, you know? Well, good. Maybe she's finally learning a lesson. Well, she's lost Ryan and, and Belle, and do you know the gym's being sued now as well? I, uh, yeah, OK. I shouldn't have given it a second thought. Look, I, of all people, want to see something good in Amanda. She's Ryan's mum. I don't want to hate her, but she just never learns from her mistakes. There's only so many second chances you can give a person. You know, if you want to worry about anyone, worry about the owner of that. Well, the longer the jewel stays out there, the harder it's going to be for us to find it. Mm. And that motorbike could be all the way to Queensland by now. I just wish I could give Drew some better news, but it looks like Jules doesn't want to be found. I'm ready to go to Mom's. All right, give me a few minutes, Matty, and I'll um, drive you. Hey, I can take you. I'll be fine, mate. <clears throat> Off you go. It's up to you. Mum! Oh, hi, honey. Peter. Hi, I was expecting Dan. Oh, Dan's busy, so I offered. Um, can I play with my new rally car? Of course you can. He's got this new car, so it might be a bit hard to get conversation out of him. No, it's all right. It's just good to have him here. How have you been? Yeah, I'm okay. Just keep him busy. Yeah, me too. I'm trying to. Well, I, I should go. Do you want to come in for a coffee? It's just a coffee. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry about the mess. It's okay. Where's Kelly? She's at the gym. There we go. The battery terminal will just come loose. That's why it wasn't working. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Pete. No worries. I would never have even thought to check that. <laughs> You know, I was beginning to think that you'd never want to talk to me again. Well, the thought did cross my mind. So what changed? Uh, I don't know. I, um... I saw you on the beach today and something seemed different. I can't really explain it any more than that. Oh, excuse me. Peter Baker. You're kidding me. No, I'll, I'll be right there. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just got to get home. Um, thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. Any time. Hey, can Peter. I, uh, say goodbye to Ryan for me. <laughs> him up about three hours north. Has the owner of the stolen bike been notified? As soon as we got word. They're not pressing charges, apparently. Jules here is damn lucky, if you ask me. They just want their bike back in one piece. You really thought you were going to get away with this, did you, mate? What do you care? Thank you, Ken. We can handle it from here. Okay, see you later. See Thanks. You. Jules, we know the full story. Now the real reason why you took off. Well, I had to tell them about Linda. You had no right to tell them. We were worried and we want to help you, but you've got to stop acting like a tool and let us. Who says I need help? Your parents are worried too, mate. You've spoken to them? Yeah, we tried to talk to them. We thought you might go there. It's the last place I'd go. Look, the least you can do is give them a call and let them know you're okay. Come on. Hey, mate. Hey, is Peter around? Hey, mate. I'll speak of the devil. I'll um, make sure Ryan's okay. I was hoping that you'd be here. Why is that? I just wanted to thank you for our chat today. can't keep avoiding each other, so we may as well be civil. Yeah, fine. When I saw you today, and I watched you play with Ryan, that's the first moment that I've felt any happiness since the wedding. And when you said that you saw me on the beach, and something felt different, it just got me wondering whether maybe you still care for me after all. 
I still care for you, Peter. I love you. And I wanted to know if there's any chance for us. Not right away. We could work on it. Over time, I will prove to you that you can trust me again. I want to be with you. And I want to know if that's what you want to. No, I don't. When I saw you today on the beach and I saw how lonely you looked, it made me realise I still care about you. So why won't you give me a second chance? Because I can never trust you again, Amanda. I will worry about you, yes, but I can never trust you. You don't ever want to think about it? No. You know, I don't hate you, but I can... I can never love you again, either. And I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression today. That was never my intention. I'm just trying to move on with my life. I think you should do the same. So you spoke to you folks? I didn't have a choice, did I? I'm sure they're relieved you're okay. Look, they don't give a toss. It's not the impression I got when I spoke to them. So what's the plan now, Jules, huh? I don't have one. It wasn't exactly my idea to come back, remember? Well, Dan and Leah are very kindly offered for you to stay here, so... What if I don't want to? Don't be an idiot, just hear them out. I suppose I've got nowhere else to go. Okay, let's go through the ground rules. While you're here, you're to pull your weight around the house and help out. And if you are not under this roof, then you're to behave. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Anything else? Yeah. The only reason we're putting up with this grief you're giving us is because we know what you've been through. Isn't it time you faced up to it? Face up to what? <laughs> Linda's dead. Yeah, but Lily's not. She's still in hospital and I bet everything I own she'd like to see you. And according to Sally, she's been asking about you, mate. And they all know the situation now and they're not going to judge you. Great, so I'm some sort of charity case now. Listen, mate, everyone here is trying to help you, so just lose the attitude, OK? Go and visit Lily. Even if you don't want to, don't you think you owe it to her? Her sister's truly wicked. Why would Amanda's own sister want to hurt her? Next week... Let's finish this. Her final, most shocking plan is about to unfold. It was you. Two lives will be left hanging on the line. Oh, my God. We need some help here. Will it all end tragically? Where's Amanda and Kelly? Has this wicked witch finally won? That's Kelly's car. An explosive week not to miss. Amanda! Amanda! Home and away.